So one of the most common questions asked is the pole situation, the extension of the 23-0 on in. We have the 270 Peregrine. And I wanted to do a quick video and kind of dispel some myths and answer some questions. So right now, I have it deployed. You can see it's pretty well taut. I put the two poles down. I haven't really needed it. I'm just doing it for the video. There's no wind right now. But these on-ins only come with five poles. Two are installed, three are in the bag. And the two that are installed get attached up here with that little strap. So all you're going to do is fold that up, undo the pole, and bring it up and lock it into place. Same thing for this one here. And these have a swivel. So if you wanted to, these can even come out. So you can see that swivel right there. It's got two holes. And that's how that on and works. Now you don't need to put up all five poles. I don't even put up any of the poles if I don't have to. Now if I know it's gonna be windy, of course I'm gonna put the poles out. But only two of the poles are attached. Don't make the mistake of putting the pole inside this first strap. That's not for that. That's just for holding the on and to the support bar. You have one strap on each and that's it. Now the other three poles, the first pole obviously comes over here. Okay. You have the hole right there. And then you, that's the first one. The second one is installed. The third one, the third support beam, Okay, that's where you put that pole. The fourth one is installed, and then the fifth one over to here. So a couple of things. Some people say, oh, well, my awning doesn't go all the way at 90 degrees. No, it's not. As you can see there, it hits the rooftop tent, but it gives you more than enough coverage. And then if you open up the door, it clears it plenty. So I'll open up the door, show everybody doesn't even touch so you don't have to worry about it. so again that is normal that is the way these awnings are I don't even with the 23 uh, zero rooftop tent it will move over more if it wasn't installed but that's just how these are I mean it's not off grids fall it's just you know you're trying to uh, put aftermarket equipment on your trailer and what works best are there other options available I'm sure there are I personally like the 23 zero with the light shield technology, we're in a 100 degree day in Anza Borrego, and what a difference underneath this awning. Uh, to me, this is one of the best awnings out there. You can't get any better. Another common question is about these two holes. These two holes is where you put the pole. The pointy metal end is what goes inside there. And then you just bring it down. So you can choose which hole you want to put it in that's all that is for some people say oh i'm missing my swivel um 23 it didn't come with it no that's how these are that's how they come so if you have two holes right there which i think is also on this one you could take this swivel out take the swivel out and put it over here now i don't see the purpose or why you'd want to do that but 230 gives you that option uh, i could be wrong but this is my personal opinion. And I've used this on and now for 10 months and I love it. Just absolutely love this on and works great. And another thing I do is I keep all my guy lines installed. So I'll bring that one down. Now if you can see on top. So when I install or put this away, I put the poles away. I take my guy line and I just throw it up on top. I leave it there. And then when I go to fold up the awning, I just leave them installed. Doesn't hurt it. Saves me a lot of time in house when we get to a campsite and having to reinstall those guy lines on the tent. All I gotta do is attach them to the uh, pegs and I'm good to go. So much easier. Okay? All right.